Rolling. <laughs> right now, we are about to do Alton's big reveal. The villain of the film. Villain? Yes. Really? In my eyes, I'm, I'm the one, he said, told me to tell them what's going on. I'm telling what's going on. So uh, we have one more light to get right here and... Striking! Striking! That looks very is. good. I think the, the most challenging shoot that we did at the women's club was in the basement. Uh, actually, I, I don't think, I know. The basement was the most challenging. The basement was one of my favorite locations and it was also one of the craziest locations to film in. We're here in the basement of the women's club, about six feet from the top of hell. Uh, <laughs> you can start to feel the heat. It's, it's a very long corridor, and as you get further into it, you actually have to crouch. So, uh, what is this scene that we're about to film? Uh, well, I'm not sure that we can really talk while we're walking. <laughs> Please, I'm yeah. gonna have problems delivering lines effectively like this. Yeah. With suitcases. It was pretty crammed in there after we set up all the lighting and we had all the, the crew and the positions that they needed to be. Blocking the actors was really hard. It becomes the old original foundation where it's stone and dirt. In the back of the basement at the Canton Women's Club, um, there were holes in the wall. It was it was really kind of strange because because you're not really understanding why they're there for what reason. Uh, but basically, you you were um, I was holding a china a china ball, this globe with a light in it, on the end of some a telescoping rod, and. I was actually con I was actually pivoting and controlling the light as they moved the lantern around, sort of sort of to affect the light of the amount of light that a lantern was throwing off, which wasn't much. Um, so where I was I was sort of holding it like this, crouched in the crouched in this little dark space in the back of the basement, and having to back away really quickly and then and, and scooch and turn and turn the light away from it, the characters so that they disappear into darkness as they turn a corner. You want to come first? You'll come first through here. We'll stop here and wait for Hazel. Hazel will grab her bags and she'll step over here and then you'll say, Dale, would you? So lighting was a challenge down there, but we were able to get it together. One thing you want to look out for is somebody had accidentally put a plastic clip on one of the lights, attaching the gel to the light. And you don't want to use plastic because they get really hot. So we're, we're down there, we're filming, and all of a sudden we start to smell something burning. That's not a good sign. And we know we have a problem, we find it's the clip, and the clip has melted. Luckily we were able to pull it off, we're still able to film, and still able to get what we wanted from that gel. But yeah, you don't want to put a plastic clip on a light. We were just talking about this today, we, you don't remember you don't remember how hard things were, you, but you do remember laughing a lot, and you do remember having a good time. So that, that's something that to take into account now, and I, su I suppose something that experience gives you, is that you know, you know that when you remember it later, you'll remember the good times. And bad times, you don't really, you don't really hold on to them.